So hello guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to take you through, given the list of items, how can we generate or extract a list that meets a certain criteria from the list that we already have. So in this case, to illustrate this, I have a class of user. In this class, I have an attribute ID, name, location, and a constructor, and the toString method, which basically just returns to string. And then on my main function, I have a list of users, which is the user model over here with the user class, which I named student, which is a, which will contain four objects. Uh, the first one being James, Rose, Mike, Anne, and being in location Nairobi, Nairobi, London, London. So, and then the IDs, which are, are just a unique identifier. So in this case, I want to obtain a list of students who are in London, for example. So it can be uh oh, sorry in this case i wanted to obtain a list of students who are in nairobi to begin with so list of nairobi students for now set it as an empty array and then we'll print it over here and you can see as i print it it's still empty for now so there's so many ways of doing this you can actually look through the list of users or the list of students and write a for loop and then check if um if the location is Nairobi then add that to list and then return that particular list but you can easily do this using an expression and I'll show you so for example in this case I have students so first of all I enter this, the list which is the list of students and then a where clause so where where and then I give it a parameter students In this case, I'm interested in the location, so where student location is equivalent to Nairobi, and then I want to get a list from it. So let me just run first of all to prove that it works, and then I can explain. So as you can see, it will give me a list already, a list from the students list with the ID name James, which is James here and rows and both of them are in the location in Nairobi and you can actually change this to London and it will still still work all right you can you see it still works so the criteria here is quite simple so this where clause takes in a function so and then this function we take in a parameter which is a student as we so it's a where clause and the where clause takes in the list so an iterable so whenever it takes that iterable i take them as it loops through each particular student and i take the student object as it loops through and then i tell it return student dot location where the location is london so this is just an anonymous an, an anonymous function but rather you can still write this as this bool. And then it will take in a user with a student and you can return student location is Nairobi. And I can replace this with simply doing this. So an easier way to explain this is simply doing this. So what happens is the where clause takes in a function and the function has to have a parameter which is a student because it's looping it loops through each individual each individual object within that particular list so in this case if i call the function a student in Nairobi, i'll pass in a student object which is one student at a time so as i pass in the student object i want only the student whose location is Nairobi, and this function is a boolean for a reason because the where clause takes in something called a predicate a predicate which here it says uh, returns a new lazy, lazy iterable with all elements that satisfy the predicate test so a predicate basically just returns a boolean and the boolean it's either it's true or false so if that statement whatever return here is true then that particular item will be then added to the list 
and then we can return it back again to list and then return it to the Nairobi student. So basically what happens is it calls a function and the function and as I wrote it before, this is just the same as what I wrote here. Student, student location is in London. This is just a simpler way of writing this particular function, but I'm going to use this to explain it better. So once a person student, this is the same as calling this function, and this function, if the statement is true, then that particular element, student, will be added to this list. So you can still write it this way, which is a shorter method, but for easy explanation, this this also works. So it's the same thing, because once I call this method, it will pass in as it loops through that student list and gets each individual item, it then passes that individual item to this function. And if this function, for example, it starts user, uh, user ID4, name is James, and then start if James, dot location is Nairobi and it returns true then this function returns true then it will add that to that particular list so and then it will go on and on and loop through all the entire list going one item at a time calling as it goes as it loops through each item it calls this function and this function checks whether that location is Nairobi and if it's Nairobi it then adds it to this list and then finally we say to list because you can, this is an iterable, meaning the where clause deals only with iterables, and iterables is just an abstract. It, you can return anything, you can return to set, um, to anything you want. But now, because we said we wanted a list, then therefore here we have to return a to list. So as you can see, uh, the where clause just takes in a boolean function and that boolean function evaluates so if that criteria is met within that boolean function it's then added to that list and then once it's added to that list that particular item that meets that particular criteria if it returns it as true it adds to that list and then you can return that list and print it actually if you print this it will still work the same And you can see we still have two objects within an array that both have the location Nairobi, Nairobi. And that's basically it. You can actually change this to anything and you can change it to Lana and it will still work. So it's just a matter of if you want it here, it's just a simpler way of writing an expression here. Or you can still call a function which will evaluate the Boolean. So if that criteria is met, it's supposed to return a Boolean, a true or false. So if that criteria is met, then it will be added to the list. If it's not met, if the boolean is false, then it won't be added to that list. So it's just a matter of preference. You can either choose to write it as an expression or call a function that then passes that particular item. So it's important that when you call this function, you pass in. So for example, if it's with a list of students, you pass in that individual object, because if you don't, it might throw in an error as you see the argument bool function can't be assigned to the parameter bool function user meaning it's a loop but this loop expects that we'll pass in each particular object because it's going through one object at a time at a time at a time so basically that's it uh, it's a matter of preference so if you prefer writing a function then you can write a function and call it in the where clause